All right, let's see if ChatGPT can create Plants vs. Zombies from scratch without me having to write a single line of code. And the first thing on the to-do list is the artwork, which will all be AI generated with Adobe Firefly. We're gonna start off with the pea shooter. So we're gonna drag him in right there and then we're gonna generate. Oh my, bro, what? Dude, that is cursed. What is this? Oh my God. Uh, okay, I'm not very satisfied with these results. So we're gonna try again. Come on, let's get let's get something decent. Why are they so white? Ah, oh, man, this is bad. This is real bad. Still a bit odd. Like the nose is just so weird. Like that is not what it's supposed to look like. You know what? This may just be our best option. Let's download it. For the sunflower, I chose this one. And for the walnut, I went with this. All right, with the walnut out of the way, it's time for the chomper. Oh, you know, I'll think, this is probably my favorite one so far because it's just pretty different. You know what I'm saying? No cap. That is just cursed. So cursed. What? I actually do like this one. It like replaced the spikes with an eye, which I feel like is that unique AI touch that we need in this game. This kind of rocks. I'm gonna go with this one, honestly. All right, only two plants remaining. Let's do the snow pea now. Oh, dang. I'm gonna download this one just in case we don't get any better ones, but I do wanna go for some other ones. Oh, okay. You know, a little better. I ended up going with this one. Now for the last plant, we have the cherry bomb. Bruh. Oh, I guess I can't have bomb in my prompt. What the heck? Jeez. All right, fine. No, this just like literally doesn't even match. Like this is just bad. Like I don't even like that. I'll try again. All right, now this one is just straight up cursed. I mean, what is this? This is so cursed, bro. All right, I'm gonna try one more time. Last try. There we go. See, this is this is what we want. This is exactly what we want. I kind of like this one. All right, so we finished all the art for the plants so we can drag them into the done section. And now we're working on the zombies. Come on. We're gonna start off with the regular default zombie. I mean, this is actually pretty good. Like what? I'm gonna try some more. There we go. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. You know, I like this one just cause it kind of looks acoustic, you know? Right, yeah, let's go with this one. All right, next up is the cone zombie. I want its head to literally be a cone head. I think that would be absolute jokes. They're all pretty solid. Let's go with this. Okay, so now that we're done with the cone zombie, let's do the football zombie. What is this? Oh, oh, it's because I had cone head in the prompt. Hmm, <laughs> okay, okay. That looks terrible. I don't know what that is. Well, which one looks the best? Probably this one, yeah. Let's use it, download. All right, so here's the final version of all the plants after I made all their backgrounds transparent. All right, and then I got the rest of the sprites I needed, but like nobody cares about these. All right, and last but not least for the background, I ended up choosing this. I actually wanted to give the sprites like some animations. Uh. So I tried out Luma Dream Lab or whatever it's called, and it was just not it. All right, so I'm in the new Unity project. And the first thing I'm gonna do is drag in the background. Uh, which is way too big, come on. All right, so the next thing I did was place these points around the scene where you would be able to drag plants onto. We have all of the points laid out across the board. Look, Look at, at that. that. Hierarchy is kind of looking like a mess, as you can see. How many circles we got? 41 circles. All right, next thing we're gonna be working on is the UI, like kind of up here, right? Where we have the plants where you can select them and place them down. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the UI. It actually looks quite beautiful. Like that looks surprisingly good. All right, next thing on the to-do list was dragging and dropping the plants. So I typed in my prompt to ChatGPT and it listed out all the steps. I mean, yeah, looks pretty good to me. We're gonna copy this code, paste it, shabang. And now we're gonna do the next script, copy the code, boom paste, this is very small. And then the last one, paste and then it lists out all the steps which is very convenient Select all your grid position game objects and add eight the grid positions and then after following all the steps we can see that they all have that little collider around them it should work now we have everything set up that chat gpt told me to do and let's give it a go nice all right so the next thing to work on was giving the plants a price Right, so the sunflower costs 50, pea shooter costs 100, 
The walnut cost 50. We know this. Come on. The cherry bomb cost 125. Come on. Snow pea is 175. And chomper is 150. There we go. All right. It's saying that it wants us to do some visual feedback for insufficient sun. What? Yeah, we're not going to do that. Okay, and last but not least, we need to make it so that the plant has like a 50% opacity when we can't afford it. Just to let the player know that like, dang, you really can't afford this, bro. What the heck? Dang, 138 lines of code. Pretty impressive. When we buy the plants, it should decrease the amount of sun that we have. It should be 50 for the walnut. So, boom. Alrighty. There we go, minus 50. And then the cherry bomb should be 125. Boom, 150. Yeah, 150, 150, 175, 50. And look at that. Yes, we have the opacity thing working. The next thing I worked on was giving the pea shooters the ability to shoot. Copy this and paste it. Oh crap, so we're also gonna need a zombie script. There we go, okay. Dang, yo, it's on a roll. And then let's drag in a zombie. Drag on the zombie script. You can place him like right here just to test. So in theory, we should be able to place a pea shooter right here and then we'll start shooting the zombie. It should die within like five hits, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. We did it. And it stopped shooting. Oh. My gosh. Then I just did everything for the snow pea, but it's pretty much the same thing as the regular pea shooter. Where's he at? Okay, he's coming down. We're gonna drag the snow pea on. Ooh, bad. There you go. It works. Uh, for whatever reason, the zombie isn't dying after the five hits, and the projectiles are slightly too big, so we gotta fix that. Around two. Smaller projectiles, yes. And then he should die within the next hit. Boom. All right, bet. And then I did the same thing for the sun, but it's like, bro, who wants to see that? Okay, now the sunflower should work. When we place it, it'll just spawn a sunflower like every 10 seconds or so. Uh... Don't even stress it. That was a light fix. Nothing too crazy. Easy fix for the best game dev of all time. And then I rinsed and repeat for the cherry bomb. <laughs> Next on the list was the chomper. All right, uh, place it right here. When it gets a certain range, it should just eat it, yes. And then when it's red, that means it's digesting. Okay, it's done. It should eat this one now. Yep. All right, and then I did the zombie spawner. Lawn mowers. Let's see if it works. Three, two, one. Hey, man, it works. I'm so surprised, oh my God. Now it's time for ChatGPT to make the sun fall out of the sky. I mean, yeah, bro, per usual, the script looks flawless. Like, I mean, ChatGPT, yeah, I don't even think it's messed up at all. Like, it's gotten so much better since the last time I used it. That's crazy. Worked like a charm, nonetheless. All right, so now I'm in 11 labs where we can generate sound effects using AI, and all I have to do is give it a prompt. The first one we're going to do is the zombie eating sound effect. You know what? I have high expectations. I think it's going to be pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad at all. That's kind of cursed. <laughs> That's the best one. Okay, yeah, I definitely got to go with this one. Come on. Now it's time for that pea shooter pop sound. You know what I'm saying? Oh, dude, that was really good. This one's actually so good. All right, those ones suck. This one's good. That That's actually perfect. Okay. But this one actually sounds like a lawnmower. Let's go with this. Yeah. It's not bad though. All right, this is the best one right here. <laughs> All right, bro, what is going on? Yeah. I got that one for the chomper. All right, the last thing we need to finish this game is a soundtrack. So I'm in Suno right now. I've never used this before. So let me make an account real quick. I'm going to ask ChatGPT to describe the Plants vs. Zombies soundtrack. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Create. I'll listen to this one first. Okay. That's really not that bad. It's not like the Plants vs. Zombies one, but like, that's really good. Dude, this one is... I feel like this one sounds more like it. 
This is really good. Oh my gosh. So after I was done making the game, I found this AI animation tool where I could just plug in my sprite and it will just give it animations for me. When I first used it, I was having trouble. It was like super glitchy and stuff because like the characters weren't rigged properly, but I was able to find some workarounds and got it looking half decent. Anyways, here is some gameplay. Yeah.